Like what you do, see me with the crew. I gotta get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. Sell a got If this content is entertaining or informative and helped you in any way, or if you have a video topic request about absolutely anything, send a donation to the Cash App or follow me on social media. Peace. Hey, it's Nate Almighty. Do me a favor. Before you watch the rest of this video, go ahead. Hit that bell, man. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skinner Ambassador, with another story time. And this is another story about how I suffered having to watch some horrific things while working as a bed bug exterminator in the early 2010s. Now, this is one of the nastiest things that I've seen while working as a bed bug exterminator. Um, we were somewhere in New Jersey. I forgot exactly where, but it's the white part. Um, we had got the word that the day before to, to definitely wear our hazmat suits Make sure they are definitely tight and there's no open spaces. Make sure you have no bed bugs on you when you get inside the van. And definitely make sure that when you get in your house, before you sit down on any of your furniture, take off all your clothes, put it in a bag and either throw it out or immediately put it in the washing machine. Because this was a very high level infestation place. Okay, so we seen a couple quote unquote high infestation level places while doing this job um for, for being that i didn't state that i was working this job for exactly 11 months before i quit but this had to have been about the third or fourth month in um so you can say i was already used to bed bugs um i learned a lot about bed bugs like for example now everywhere i go inside people's houses I'm always looking at the seams of mattresses and the seams in the corners of the cushions of people couches and stuff like that. Looking for little droplets of blood. Looking looking for little super black dotty areas of, in corners and mattresses and cushions and sofas and stuff like that. It's like I have a trained eye to spot bed bugs, you know what I'm saying? And people are around me and they're itching and they saying it's a mosquito bite. I'm looking, I'm making sure that it's not three bites like going back to back to back within a straight line, real close to each other because you know, bed bugs like biting like threes, you know what I'm saying? It'll be like, 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 like in a straight line, you know, if it's one bed bug on you, you feel me? Um, but I've been doing that ever since I had that job. But um, like I said, we were told it was a high infestation level. We get to this woman's house. I was not prepared for what I was about to see and I never even knew that bed bugs could get this bad. And it was at this point where I began to question, where the hell do bed bugs come from and where did they originate? Because these things are literally, literally like vampires, like literally vampires, you know what I'm saying? Um, what they do is, if there's a whole lot of them and they're just biting all over you, and let's say you got white sheets or light colored sheets, you could wake up out of bed and you could see droplets of blood from you or from you rolling around smashing bed bugs in your sleep all over the mattress, all over the sheets of the mattress. And this is exactly what I seen. It was terrible. It was terrible. And this was before I even got an opportunity to sit the client down and speak to the client about things she has experienced or what exactly needs to be done in every single room. And by the time I got to the lady, and plus I'm gonna I'm say that I did not see the master bedroom yet. The master bedroom had the worst infestation and I'm gonna describe it in a second. It's gruesome, it's disgusting. This is not a job, definitely not a job for women and not a typical job for, for, for the average human being as well. It's a dirty job, it pays nice. But it's a dirty, filthy job, and you're risking bringing bed bugs home. You're risking it. But um, 
I already peaked the infestation level of the living room, and then there's like a little guest room that I was in. Um, before I got to the master bedroom, I go, I, I sit, well, I didn't sit at all. I didn't sit any fucking where. That's the first thing. When you go in, in places where it might have bed bugs, you don't sit anywhere. Bed bugs are like ninjas. You never hear them coming. By the time you notice them, they already on your ass. Literally. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I'm standing up, fully covered in my white hazmat suit. Fully got my mask on, the whole white suit. I'm to a T. I even got duct tape around the wrist part, making sure that there's no way bugs can get inside that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, this is a this was an older. I'm gonna say she was in her 60s. White woman, grayish blondish hair. She was overweight. She was very very overweight, heavy set. She lived alone. Um, she was not that mobile. She was in one of those one of those. One of those uh, wheelie chairs, the chairs, the motor, the motor chairs that that the older people and the older fat people be in. Hey, they're fat. If you sensitive because they said they're fat, listen, they're fat. It don't matter if it's your mother, my mother, grandmother, uncle, aunt, niece, whoever. They're fat. That's why they're in there because they can't use their regular legs. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm standing not too far from, not too close to her, but close enough to where we can have a conversation so I can access. You know what I'm saying? Her her situation so she could explain to me all the little details that I need. You know what I'm saying? I was the group leader for this particular situation. So I just remember while I'm talking to this woman, I look inside the corner of the living room behind her. And in the corner of the living room on the left side and the right side, it's just real, 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 real black. Real black, real black, real disgusting. And it's not like I'm from the hood. So you know what roaches do. You know how roach nests look. You know what I'm saying? These were these were bed bug nests. Left and right side in her living room. In her living room. And it was big. It was big. It was a little, it was like blackish, reddish color. It looked disgusting. It's like, looking at it, I began to itch. And I knew for a fact there was no bed bugs on me. Like, it was just, like, just giving me the goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? Um, and while I'm talking to this woman, she's talking very calmly. Um, she's scratching her arms every now and then. But I'm watching her as she literally not noticing that there's bed bugs crawling all over her body. I'm watching two or three of them go on the shirt. She had no bra on, so I'm looking at one is going over the nipple, her shirt, this one on her shoulder, and then I'm watching her, she flicks her hair. She flicks her hair, right? In some kind of way, right? It's in a different way. And then out coming from the top of her head, there's one bed bug coming all down the top, the middle seam of her hair, and it literally crawls down her head, on her forehead, to the side, and goes down her face, down her face, and goes into her shirt. And this bitch did not notice that. It was at this point that I really realized that she was done off forever. In all due reality, when a bed bug infestation is this bad, you really supposed to just demolish the whole apartment, the whole house, and really just rebuild. Because at this point, the bed bugs, their favorite places to be, first of all, they fit anywhere you could slide a metro card in. If from New York, you know the metro card is. But when the infestation, when the infestation level is so bad that the bed bugs don't have enough room on the bed and the couches, so now they're on the walls like roaches. Right? Not only are they on the walls, but they're in the sockets in your house. You have millions and billions of bed bugs in your house. And the only way to deal with this is to throw away everything in there. Not even throw it away because you don't want to move bed bug to bed bug. You literally would have to burn 
everything in there. You would have to literally demolish. Her house needed to be bulldozed. Like, it was terrible. I'm talking about bed bugs down your face, crawling down your face, your face. You didn't notice this? Like, and mind you, she didn't have no man in there. The man probably got tired of living like that. He said, listen, bitch, you got bed bugs sucking your titties. I can't deal with this. And um, the only good thing about it was, was that we came, we did our job. I'm not going to lie. Um, her bed bug infestation level was terrible, but we're not supposed to really tell them that you should probably move and get out of here because if they need us again, we could come back and get more money, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it was so bad, like, I'm spraying around, I'm moving things around, you could lift up, you could lift up um, a pillow, and you could turn the pillow around, and you will see a bunch of bad bugs under the pillow, that was under the pillow scattering now because there's lights on them, and like roaches, you know what I'm saying? But bed bugs are more gangster than roaches, they're vampires, you know what I'm saying? Um, the only good thing about that situation was, yes, I had to deal with the fear of bringing bad bucks home. It was a gruesome, vicious sight. However, she tipped everybody $50 that day. And I got 100 because I was the team leader and the only person who wasn't afraid to be next to her. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.